In 1891, workdays started early at the Acme brick plant. Workers had about a half hour before the sun would rise and the second whistle called them to their day's work. For the next 10 hours, they would feed some of the finest clay in Texas to the hungry grinders that would help turn Earth's clay into hard-fired brick. Acme Brick. In 1890, George Bennett, a man of many enterprises, discovered rich shale deposits near Millsap, Texas. Less than a year later, he founded the Acme Brick Company. The rugged spirit and strong hands of those hard-working pioneers fueled the growth and longevity of what today is one of the nation's leading brick manufacturers. While mining clay is still a tough job, Today's modern earth movers make it possible for Acme to disturb only a minimal amount of terrain to get the raw materials for making brick. Later, when all of the usable clay has been removed, the Acme team will regrade the surface and plant vegetation to reclaim the land for other uses. Over the last five or six years, uh, we've planted more than 400,000 trees. The Brick Industry Association has a biennial awards program that recognizes outstanding environmental achievements and Acme has won that award every year that that award ceremony has, has gone on. After the clay is mined and stockpiled, it's transported directly to a conveyor belt, dropped into crushers, sifted through screens to separate particle sizes, and held in storage hoppers that are two stories high. Because of the natural variations in clay deposits, Acme carefully blends clay stockpiles together to achieve an enduring balance of strength and beauty. Pretty much this whole grinding operation is computerized. Uh, it's, it's all state of the art, and he can see everything from his computer screen right here. After the clay is blended, it's conveyed into a pug mill. Water is added, and the clay is transformed into a stiff, gooey mass, which is extruded in the form of a continuous, uncut brick column ready for texturing effects to be added, and for the Acme brand. We started stamping the end of one of every dozen or so brick probably more than 25 years ago, and it was an effort to help differentiate Acme produced brick from all others in the marketplace. And what we wanted to do was try and communicate to the homeowner that the brick that surrounds their home was manufactured to Acme's high quality standards, and it was backed by Acme's 100-year guarantee. The column passes over a cutting table where fine wires cut individual brick. These soft, unfired brick are set onto cars and moved into dryers that remove 99% of the moisture before the firing process begins. After two days, the brick have dried. They're checked again for quality and robotically set onto kiln cars. Once on the kiln cars, the brick will wait their turn to enter the kiln, where they'll be fired for up to 40 hours. Inside the kiln, temperatures are precisely controlled up to 2,000 degrees or more, triggering a change in chemical structure that transforms the brick into a durable, color-fast finished product. Because firing is the most exacting and unforgiving step in manufacturing clay products, technicians monitor each temperature stage with the help of automatic controls. After firing, the bricks are moved out onto the factory floor to cool. At every stage of production, Acme inspectors check to make sure the quality remains consistent. Well, the quality control really begins in the stockpiling, but every phase along the operation, we have quality checks. Of all the brick that Acme makes, less than 2% fail the inspection process. But they don't go to waste. They're crushed and recycled as components in future batches of brick. We're able to take 100% of the, uh, the scrap that's produced inside of the plant, bring it back into this location, uh, we'll crush the material, and actually put it back into the body of the brick that we're producing. So uh, we don't have any waste as far as any of uh, the brick that's gone through our operation here. Those brick that make it through the inspection process are banded and loaded onto Acme trucks for delivery right to the job site. To stay close to our customers, Acme has brick plants throughout Texas, as well as plant and sales locations in Arkansas, Kansas, Louisiana, Missouri, Oklahoma, Colorado, Minnesota, and Tennessee. When you add it all together, there are lots of elements that go into making Acme a solid brick company. You can count on Acme. Acme builds great brick. Acme means reliability. Acme, quality is solid.
Reputation for reliability. Many years ago when I started with Acme, one of the first things they taught me was that if you click two brick together, it should sound like a church bell or like two pieces of steel being rung together. And it should sound just like that. It's Acme quality. We make it easy for customers to choose Acme. Of all the investments you can make in a new home, nothing surpasses the value, beauty, and durability that only brick can offer. And when it's Acme Brick, it's backed by a 100-year guarantee. That's confidence you can count on. And that's why we say, since 1891, Acme Brick is the best thing to have around your house.